In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated passing concepts out of the Gun Bunch offset in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. You can apply this concept to pretty much any bunch formation in the game. All you need is a slot apprentice or a hot route master. You can still run this play. We're going to show you how to run it even if you don't have that ability. But I do believe that this is one of the best ways to run a kind of horizontal style uh, of passing out of the Gun Bunch. So super excited for the video. If you want to get my entire Colts Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. On. The link is in the description. Ten dollars is going to get you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including all of the updates uh, to those ebooks. And we're dropping a ton of stuff over there this week. So make sure that you're in Patreon. All right, guys. So a uh, couple things here. Really, we're going to do this out of the play flood. Um, you could also do this out of the play mesh post. But I do personally prefer the play flood for this because you get a better flat route from the tight end. And uh, this is really, really, really good against any kind of uh, man, zone, anything. So um, if you take a look at this deep in route from the left side, you're going to notice that this in route is about... 15 yards okay roughly it's a little bit under 15 yards but it's deeper than 10 uh as you can see right there so he's going to run pretty deep in route okay the same thing you have this outside this out route that's really good but we're not going to utilize that in this piece um so you have a couple different options so you also have this really good flood route uh or this route to owen daniels that is really good um at getting separation so uh what i like to do with this play is we're gonna slant our slot, we're gonna hitch our uh, outside bunch receiver. We are going to either out route or ghost route our back. And then what I like to do is you could either leave this out route out here, which is fine. But one of the things that I'm starting to really like to do at a bunch is I'm gonna motion this receiver inside and I'm gonna put him on a slot apprentice post. Okay, as you can see here, super good play. Okay, so now what we have with this is we have perfect spacing and we have routes that are going to attack the defense in a horizontal type of manner, but at the same time still really good against man because you'll see here this tight end flat route. If I high point that, that's going to beat man every single time. I can also just flat out free form it. It's going to be open. Okay, what they have to do to stop that is they have to adjust. So one of the things, one of the adjustments they have to make is they have to man up this linebacker and then they're also going to have to probably do some kind of shade underneath which is going to then resolve and then play in deep halves or deep thirds on on the top of the on the top of the roof kind of thing so with the back i can also do a wheel um, you can kind of make however you want you can block him you can put him in a check and release i really like to either put him on a ghost a wheel I think a swing is actually really underrated because he's going to pull zones really well if he's on a swing um, or a flat out table route. You could table route it as well if you have hot route master so that you can kind of do whatever you want with the running back. But what you'll see here is this shaded down is going to play that very well, but you can then throw your post over the middle of the field. As you can see, um, your slant post is going to become your main read if they are in some type of shaded down uh, concept. So again, they pretty much have to be in shaded down man. If they're not in, um, let me show you. So if I go to this formation here, this is a little bit more popular. Let me show you this tight end, tight end route. So again, uh, slant hitch. If you don't want to, if you don't want to motion him in and put him on a post, go ahead and leave him on this route. This route's not bad. Um, but what you'll see here, high ball, throw it outside. And you see, I can get about six to 10 yards on that. If I break a tackle, that could be a huge play for me. So they basically have to do something, um, you know, that resembles this kind of style of man coverage to even have a chance. Uh, if they are going to do that style of man coverage, one of my favorite things to do is to wheel the running back because against shaded down man, that could be a pretty pot uh, potentially pretty good little play. I can also playmaker this hitch over the middle by flicking the right joystick to the left uh, to, to basically, you know, get that get that right over the middle a little bit more. So there's a lot we can do against man. Don't sleep on the tight end flat. Um, if they are deep halfing on both sides, what it should do, honestly, is it should just result in the fact that the matter that we should be able to throw either our running back quick to the flat, our little route to that slant or that post or dig coming back over the middle of the field any of those routes are going to be open against shaded down man now what that means is now they're going to jump into some type of zone look and typically um you know zone is 
you know, pretty it's it's pretty good. This is a really good concept in the zone. So what you're going to see here is we're going to create a lot of space with our flat routes. These flat routes are going to pull zones outside and then we can throw, you know, and basically cut them off before they get to the third defender over there on the left side. You can throw these, um, you can throw in between zones this year really, really well. So it's going to be hard for them to play zone. Um, even if they do have a couple of underneath coverage, it's still really difficult. I, that's why I also like to ghost route here. Um, you'll see it go, see how it holds that flat and then it leaves that window over there that is super, super good for attacking zone. So you have a lot of different things that you can do um, to attack zone in this play. Another thing you have to understand is most people aren't going to be in just a vanilla zone because they're going to be trying to adjust to how you're playing, how you're playing offense, right? So if you're uh, constantly hitting them with you know stuff like that, then you're going to have something like this over the middle that's super, super effective because they're going to have to bring their coverage underneath uh, to be able to defend stuff. So let me go to zone one more time here. I'm going to show you something else real quick. So another popular zone that a lot of people like to run, especially against Bunch, is a double Mabel style of coverage. And what this basically means is the flat routes are going, they're trying to defend the deep corners or the deep sidelines. So now their user is going to be basically a no man's land in the middle of the field, and you're going to have a lot open. Your slant is going to be open. Your hitch is going to be open. Your running back ghost route is going to be open. If you look at this play, there's just so much they have to use her, and you're going to find that that hitch is going to be your number one route. So this is one of my favorite plays for attacking both pressure and man. It just spaces the field so well horizontally, and when you can attack a defense horizontally, it opens up your entire offense. I want to thank you for watching this video and if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook make sure that you join the Patreon the link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description